and welcome back to yet another edition of Trial by Fire. I'm continuing on with my serial killer anthology here. I'm uh, going for yet another number four serial in heat. And this time it's Dragon Puffs. Dragon Puffs has Carolina Reaper infused Cocoa Puffs. So they will be an interesting one and of course gotta have the marshmallows with it. So stay tuned. And you'll see how well these ones go over. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share, follow the usual social media stuff. Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. And I appreciate you guys watching this. I really do. Without you guys, there would be no channel. So I do this for myself, but I also do it for you. So thanks again for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell. Do the notification stuff. And enjoy the rest of the show. And welcome back. Going to be trying the Dragon Puffs, as I said. So without further ado, we'll just pop right into these suckers. Now, I will say, I've never actually had Cocoa Puffs cereal before. So this will be interesting. Dragon Puff going there. Okay. Can't really smell anything through the package, so then I don't have anything to compare it with. I don't so maybe you guys can tell me in the comments whether the Cocoa Puffs have a similar chocolate taste to say Cocoa Pebbles or the Reese uh, chocolate uh, peanut butter chocolate dust cereal. I've had those two. Not a huge fan on chocolate cereal to be honest. So this will be interesting. You smell the reaper. Not a whole lot of powder in this one, which is kind of good, I think. <laughs> See the cereal there? Just your typical looking chocolate puffs with marshmallows. Get some milk in there. Obviously darkens them up. There's all of them or just some of them? Oh, they all darken up. Okay. Oh, wow. The milk definitely activates the smell of the Reaper. So this will be interesting. See how hot this one gets. Let this uh, sit for a moment and just if you guys are just joining uh, my channel don't forget to check out some of the other uh, videos I've got. Like, subscribe, do the usual uh, social media stuff. Uh, all the links are below. I've done this is now my fifth of the uh, Infernal Candy Company. Uh, Serial Killers uh, line. There, I'm on the number four, uh, the second one of the fourth level, and then there's four on the five level, the highest level they have. First level is Frosted Fire Flakes, second level is Cinnamon Ghost Crunch, and the third level is Killer Apple Jacks. And then the fourth level consists of um, Pricks and Dragon Puffs. I believe it's Pricks. Oh, sorry, no, it's not Pricks. It's Lep Leprook Charms. My mistake. Pricks is the fifth level. So, yeah, this one is, as I said, Carolina Reaper infused. So it should be interesting to uh, see how well that one goes. The artwork, as usual, with uh, anything from a friend of a candy company is amazing. Their food's absolutely amazing. If you haven't checked them out, links below. Infernal Candy Co. Uh, infernocandyco.com I always mess that one up too many co's in there <laughs> but yeah great website lots of good food great people do, running the website uh, the company and yeah so I think I've stalled enough here it goes smelling the chocolate but I'm also smelling the reaper 
Bottoms up. Instant uh, heat, or uh, well, effects from the heat, the, the tingle on the tongue. It's not hot per se, just effects. Um, very similar to that of the leopard charms in the heat sensitivity. And that was a seven pot brain. But yeah, these are actually pretty good. This is not a huge chocolate cereal fan, but. Taste is pretty decent. Eats comfortable. The tingled on the tongue. Nothing extra. Again, again, I'd probably give this maybe a four and a half, five. Definitely worth trying if you're interested in having some spicy food. Um, this one I wouldn't recommend as a breakfast cereal. For me, just something because of the overall chocolate taste. But hey, if you like chocolate cereal. Not bad. It's a pick me up. Average cereal, not so much. But it's from Canada Company stuff. It's really good. They do do very good quality uh, products. Like I said, no endorsement for them. This is not a paid video. I just love their products. Uh, this one is pretty good. It's the chocolate part that's bothering me, to be honest. As I said, I'm not a big chocolate cereal fan. But I'm going to try and eat some more of this. So I can get down to the milk more to try that. Um, just before I do that, I'm going to put up some uh, pictures here of some of my playlists and some of the other challenges I've done of these. Well, not say challenge, but little videos I've done for the cereals. Uh, as well as, as I said, my thumbnails for some of the playlists I have. And have a read and listen to this and some interesting facts while I do this. Okay, well, <clears throat> the heat's building definitely. Still, about a five. But obviously, the more you eat, the it's building in the sense of beat, filling the mouth more. Taste wise, I cannot get through this bowl of cereal. I just can't do it. The chocolate is just not for me. But I will try the milk. Not so much spice infused in the milk <clears throat> with a lot of the chocolate. Um, the only chocolate cereal I've ever actually enjoyed is the Reese peanut butter. That's the, because of the peanut butter part. But yeah, <clears throat> I'll eventually try to make my way through this, but I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch that. So like I said before, do the social media stuff. Subscribe, like, share, comment. Enjoy this. This stuff. Go to Inferno Candy Company's website, order their stuff. Who knows? You might find something really interesting that you like. Enjoy the heat, stay spicy, and I'll see you next time.